today's story is Caps for Sale. It is told and illustrated by S. Fear Slobodkina. Here's the cover. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own checked cap. Then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset the caps. As he went along, he called out, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. Hmm. He began to feel very hungry but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said, and he walked out of town. Slowly, slowly, so as not to upset the caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own, his own checked, checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and then the red caps at the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. Hmm. When he woke up, he felt refreshed and rested. Uh-oh. What do you notice? Do you notice something in the picture? Hmm. Before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure all his caps were in the right place. But all he felt was his own checked cap. Uh -oh. He looked to the right of him, no cap. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Mm, he's 
looking all over. Then he looked up into the tree, and what do you think he saw? Oh my. On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or brown or blue or red cap. Hmm. The peddler looked at the monkeys. And the monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, Oh, they're, they're copying him. This made the peddler angry. So he shook, um, he shook both hands at them and said, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, There they are. Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you better give me back my hats, my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet and looked back at him and said, There they are, they're all stamping one foot. Just the same as what he did. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. And then each monkey pulled off his own cap. And what do you think they did? And all the, all the gray caps, all the brown caps, all the blue caps, and all the red caps came sailing down, flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First, his own checked cap, then all the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and then the red caps at the very top. He is getting them all organized. And then, slowly, slowly, he walked back to town, calling out, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! Let's 
says, the end, the end. Now I'm going to show you some of the signs that I used in that story. This is the sign for selling something, like you're holding it, like you're holding up something you want to sell and kind of shaking it. I'm going to take off my extra hat here. Um, so that can mean sell or for sale. And then a peddler is an old fashioned word for a person who sells something. So you do the sell sign and then showing it's a person who does it. So that's peddler. Now he's selling and caps. You use the same sign as hat. You just kind of pat where your hat would be on top of your head. Then there we had some colors. This is a sign for gray. Some people do gray like this. I do it like this. This is a little more common. Um, then there's brown. That's a B down your cheek. Blue is a B kind of shaking it. And red is kind of scratching right by your lips. Walking. For walking, we do our two feet like this, and that means walking. You can also show a person walking like this. And then he says 50 cents a cap. So we do five and then a zero, and that's 50. And cents is a little finger coming from our forehead. So you can say 50 cents a cap. And he walked slowly like this. We put our fingers kind of one hand up the other arm like that. That means slowly. So he walked slowly and he sat down slowly. So sat is like two legs over your other fingers. Sat down slowly and he fell asleep. That's your whole hand over your face, kind of pulling your eyes down. Hmm. That's going to sleep. And then waking up, you make two fingers like your eyes opening. Boop. He woke up. And when he looked for the hats, that's two fingers looking this way, looking that way, looking behind the tree. You can show wherever you're looking with that sign for look. And a very important sign in this story is monkey. So monkey, it kind of scratched like you're a monkey scratching. And you can pretend to be a monkey too. When you do that. And he tells the monkeys to give me back my hat. You do your hand like this, like you're holding a little something. And if it's give it to me, you pull it towards yourself. If I wanted to give you something, I would do it this way. It says, give me back my hats. And then the monkeys copied him. And you can just show the things they copied, like shaking a finger for stomping a feet, just like we had our hands be our feet for walking. You can stomp your feet or stomp both your feet like that. And then show the monkeys copying him if you want to do this story. All right. I hope you enjoyed that story. I like it a lot. All right, bye-bye.